This video will show you how to make a micro ESC for your micro RC models. Okay, so here I have with me my 2.4 GHz 4 channel micro receiver from Turbo Racing that I have conveniently removed from its case to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and I also removed those, um, those, what do you call this? The uh, pins because it is quite tall for my use. Okay. And um, this is the transmitter that comes with the receiver and this is 2.4 gigahertz so this is far more better than FM channel radio from the past okay and this is the battery this is just for me to test the functionality if everything's working well okay and as you can see there's a red light that is uh, because it's the transmitter is already binded with, or the receiver is already binded with the transmitter and this has a full this is fully proportional control okay and as you can see when I twist the uh, steering wheel on the remote it goes the same way as the servo okay and I am using a smart watch battery for this project oh just for the test right just for testing sorry I'll be using smaller battery okay because I'll be using this on truck did you see the green truck at the back at the back okay now it comes with this connector the servo comes with this connector so just simply cut it up and then solder all the wires directly to the motherboard or to the board of the receiver so this is to make everything smaller and it will fit nicely in my project now I needed or we we needed a screwdriver the smallest one that you can find that fits on a screw that holds all the servo parts together okay and um, here we go let's try and remove these four screws in every corner Once you removed all the screws, the uh, body or the case of the servo is still being held by this sticker, by the brand name. And by the way, this is a DI, DYM brand. This is a 9G or 9 grams um, servo. It's supposed to be used for helicopters, the RC helicopters. Okay, so let's open this up. Let's try and uh, remove the sticker but I find it very challenging so just simply cut it from the uh, from the crease okay and then let's remove the uh, bottom part of the servo and it will show us that there's a motor and that green thing okay that is the that is the thing that we needed here for this project we can also use this motor to power our uh, micro RC models this case we're just going to try and build a very small um, electronic speed control for the motor okay Let me just put it in back, put this back here okay now I'm trying to check here if there if it's glued or held by a screw but it seems that it's safe for us to pry it out right now the only connected is the uh, potentiometer that this is connected to the servo horn the green thing that one okay now this actually controls the direction of the motor if it goes if it goes clockwise or counterclockwise depending on where you twist um, the, uh, the knob or the wheel of your um, transmitter okay okay and this is a 5 ohm um, potentiometer ok 
Okay, so let me just try and um, see if I can make this masking tape stick to this uh, very small gear of this motor. Okay, one moment. This is very challenging um, for my age. Okay. But I love it. I love doing this. Okay, so let me just plug the, the battery to the uh, transmitter. And then, in, in, in most cases, you will have this will make the motor spin really fast all we need to do now is um, try to make an adjustment or trim or to control the trim and also we need to twist this uh, this uh, dial in the potentiometer until the motor stops spinning okay and then let's try to control it make sure that everything's working now actually Honestly, this is already done. You can just put a um, a super glue on the uh, on the potentiometer so that it will not be accidentally adjusted. Okay. So as you can see now, it's already working. The motor can be controlled. Um, uh, it's now it's uh, working from gradually from fast to very fast, depending on how you control the uh, how you want the uh, the motor, the electric motor, to run depending on how you pull the trigger of your transmitter okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to move to the next step I mean um, yeah this is already usable as an electronic speed controller for your micro RC trucks or RC um, models that your projects that you're doing but this is still um, big in my opinion so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to desolder this uh, potentiometer from the board. Let me just get my vintage, uh, very old uh, third hand. Uh, this trusty third hand that I have been using for almost how many years? 15 years? Okay. So I'm trying to get a better shot of this, but unfortunately my camera is not capable of zooming in to have a clear shot but I'll see if I can do something with regards to or adding a lens on my, on my uh, camera now I made this small strip of um, wire or I say, my DIY do-it-yourself um, desoldering braid but it did not work well so I ended up just simply um, heating up all the uh, all the feet all the feet of the potentiometer and <laughs> it slides right out very easily okay so and um, don't connect it yet to your transmitter and your battery because we needed to do something here to make it um, to replace the uh, potentiometer okay because the potentiometer it is can still be adjusted accidentally it may adjust accidentally okay so what I'm going to do now is let me just double check just to make sure that this is a 5 ohm potentiometer so if you can see if you connect the uh, lead of the multimeter one in the middle and one on the other side it will read out somewhere around 2.3 ohms now if you connect on both sides of the feet the far left and far right the, the total would be will be five ohms okay so and um, this is the uh, servo board okay, it's very small and this is the five ohm potentiometer which is also the same as big as the board so I'm going to remove it I'm going to replace it with um, surface mounted um, devices correct me if I'm wrong or surface mounted diodes SMD okay so let me just try and clean up the remaining solder blobs here 
Okay, this is in order for me to make um, the SMD resistor lay flat nicely on the servo board. Okay. And uh, strangely enough, my DIY um, solder braid or desoldering braid is working now. Okay. closer here okay so as you can see where the um, potentiometer was soldered it's now very clean now this is the resistor that I am going to be using there are two SMD resistor which is a, it has it's just a 222 meaning this is a 2.2 kilo ohm a tip 2.2 ohms resistor Okay, so all I have to do now is to line it up, line it up like this, where both end touch together. Okay, and then um, and you, if you plan to do the same process, make sure that you're following this easily. Now I find it easier to to super, to put a small dab of super glue uh, on the servo board because this is very small. Okay, so all I have to do now is just to put a dab or a small pour, dab of super glue and um, position those SMD or those res tiny tiny resistor nicely in the board or the servo board. Okay, and I just need to make sure where the two resistor touch together is will be soldered or touching the middle terminal of this servo board. Okay, so let me just put some um, soldering paste. Okay, and um, okay, wish me luck here. And make sure that you are using some sort of, um, let's see, small fan that blows the fumes or the, the uh, smoke from coming from soldering lead away from you. Okay. So let me just try and solder this very small uh, SMD resistor. Okay. Just making sure that the connection is um, nice and good. That should do enough. Okay, so right now I'm checking if there are any short or any short. So this is the uh, just to make sure that I did that. I will not be I will not damage the uh, servo board uh, for this project. So okay, let me just mark that one with red because sticking a scotch scotch tape is quite impossible for this size okay so let me just connect the battery and uh, okay so as you can see I don't need to make any adjustments on the servo board because uh, because um there's a 2.2 resistors it's already a uh, fixed value um, it's connected all I have to do now let's say if in your in your in your end if when you turn on the transmitter and uh, all you and the, the motor starts spinning all you have to do is just uh, adjust the trim of your throttle servo of your throttle control okay as you can see now it is working properly as I wanted to okay now I can just simply um, use this and now you can use this let's say if you're planning to make a model or a conversion of your of a one is to uh, one is the 64, one is the 72 um, scale model. Because right now, my goal is to uh, use this for my one is the 72 6x6 US cargo military truck. Okay, so there you go. This is now the uh, finished product. This is the uh, um, this is a micro ESC or electronic speed controller that you can use for your 1s to 72 or smaller scale model that you would like to convert into a radio control.
or RC. Now, please, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. And make sure to wait for my next video as I will continue to build my project 1 is to 72 scale US cargo military truck. Okay, so see you all in my next video.